especially when we're talking 50, 60 minutes. Use that magical nuke damage. He's just going to be going with one, two points of fire blast, one inning, but it should be enough to get a kill here. Yeah, there's the uh, Sunstrike coming out oh, the from the board. Invoker. They'll go right on the will. The boar comes out, almost a neutral deny, but not quite. First Blood's drawn by Bullblaze. Now they're going on to Go Black. EGM will get finished off by the neutrals. Go Black in some trouble as Sing Sing has joined the party. There's your son from Bulba and Timber Chain to finish him off. The Snake from Illidan comes in, harasses back Bulba. Maybe Scandal can come in for a recovery kill. Yes, he can. It's three heroes rotating to join the Medusa. They'll try to jump on Sing Sing. He's got three points in the Timber Chain, so rather elusive. They'll have to stun him. If they want to lock him down, Scandal will start things off. Single RP, there's your magic missile. Yeah, we're just going to see the Dream Coil on mid here. Koikoa is the target of choice, but do they have enough damage to bring him down? Koikoa is in his ultimate form, so it is a tall order. And Phobos actually goes down with the Sun Strike. The combo Fire Blast used to be Entangling Claws. It counted as a modifier. You didn't want to get the Stiggy and Desolator. EGM, sorry, Blaze. Kill up top. Where everything's on him, and we'll see what that turns out. Yep. Koikva caught inside of the Dream Coil from Phobos, but the Fairy Dragon is a little isolated here. Sunstrike will fly through. Phase Shift won't come out. Can't jump the orb, and it'll be a dead puck to get things started. Team Tinker now with a 5v4 on the field. May be okay with taking a fight. Roar comes out on EGM. A solo RP onto the Wisp. That'll be more than enough to bring him down. Stone Gaze from Medusa. Everyone's looking the opposite way. No one will get petrified. It's a one for two to get things started. Sing Sing will timber chain away as a shockwave brings him down low. But Team Tinker looking good at the beginning. Proper angle to take a team fight. And both being very cautious not to be overzealous. Oh, look at that RP! Sing Sing, but off to the side, RP on four! With a huge amount of damage coming out, but the follow-up just isn't there. There's Dusa with the Stone Gaze off to the side. They've already lost their Timber Saw, but Sing will be coming up pretty soon. Invoker goes down next. Can Scandal and Illidan make it out uh, like bandits? And it looks okay. Oh, nice swap, swap from the low ground. Go Black will play the Sacrificial Lamb, but it keeps Illidan alive. Gets a little bit of extra mana there with the wand charges, and he'll be A-OK. -okay. Ends up as a two-for-one He goes to the Rapier. It's not really an F. It's a win, and uh, we'll see. But right now, the Roar down bottom. Yeah, EGM will get caught out. Dream Call to set it up. That'll finish off oh, the Wisp. The Will almost go down. The Bear doing so much damage here. Buyback from the Wisp will relocate in. And this is just Matt Dota to the max. We'll be able to bring down this Air Hey, in the top lane. You've lost your Tier 3 tower. Pycat's got plenty of pushing power himself. They'll try to rotate over. They've still got some big ultimates available. But Scandal, he gets multicasted and he'll get brought down. Man, and the Bear on Roids. Shrunking it down, there's no glyph available in Vertistro Polar. Look at that! Probably about to tap out, yeah. Phobos comes in, Coil will secure the kill onto the Lone Druid. Now the RP on two, Sing and EGM will get left behind. Vertistro Polar repel with one barracks still standing. How long until this Courier comes up, it's still gonna be- Dusa can take on anything, but in the end, this is a Lone Druid against a, ra or a Throne. But we'll see DK Phobos be put on first. Yeah, relocate, uh, Go Black and Phobos will get taken out here. Puck will buy himself a little bit of time, but- uh, they actually get the kill on Ogres. Illidan, he's coming in, he's dropping the hammer, but now he gets isolated, taking a lot of damage. Rapier, will it hit the deck? Yes, it will. Who's picking up, though? It's still on the ground. Sing -sing, it's Sing, -sing that grabs it. And now he's going to go in, just tipping the chainsaw scandal, the buyback on Dusa. Triple kill for Sing Sing, and this may be the end for the Radiant side. All the buybacks, but meanwhile, in the mid lane, Phobos will get things started on the EGM. Go Black will connect with a the swap. They'll bring down the Wisp right away. Stone Gaze, Sing Sing gets petrified. Can they actually bring him down though. There's not enough follow-up damage, but Dusa laying in the right clicks. They might be able to burn the Aegis. No, Sing Sing just a bit too tanky. They'll lose their vengeful spirit, and now it's a one-for-one -one trade. Sing Sing lives to tell the tale with just a couple hundred hit points, and that's a Stone Gaze on cooldown for 70 seconds. Illidan almost has enough for the second rape here. There you go. He picks it up, but Puck on the high ground will get picked off. The Courier's gonna have to take this weird path back to the base over the tree line, and I don't know if they'll be able to hold the range tracks in that amount of time. There is a Glyph available, so that'll buy them the valuable time they need. The EMP comes out, Deuce does dodge it. Now their barracks taking the heavy damage. Glyph will expire. The oh. Rapier will get picked up here in just a matter of time. Sin Sing taking a lot of damage. He barely lives. Scandal gets turned around, but now Illidan. Rapier online. He's laying in the auto attacks. They've got the Mega Creep, and they've gotten what they've come for. Now EGM, he's respawned. Dusa gets caught inside of the claws, but not the swap from Go Black. It'll keep Illidan alive. Can he clean up this team to possibly make the turn? It's not looking so good here. Blaze the Bear oh. does. Well, he knows no Fire Push. It's a dead Dusa. Rapier sitting in the, uh, in the well, and 
it just doesn't matter. The GG is called. Virtus Pro Polar, after a noble effort, they can't do it. And Team Tinker secure the win with their roided up bear. Jeez, the entangles, the bashes, just completely disarming the Medusa. She can't hold against it. If this game had taken maybe five or ten more minutes, this would have been so much better for VP Polar, and it could have gone extremely, extremely long time to the point that you're looking at, like, refresher orbs on the Lone Druid and stuff like that. But at least as it stands, 